All right, today is the magic day where this bus will be heading home under its own power. Well, heading back to Indiana where he's gonna store it uh, for the winter and then uh, it'll be back to Michigan. But we have a nice cold frosty morning this morning. Everything's covered with a good layer of frost. So we've got to button up a few things. We're gonna treat the windshield with rain X2 because it's gonna rain later today for part of their trip. We're gonna tape up that big hole there go through and set the brakes again. Um, I'm gonna have them check the brakes a few times on the way home because the uh, the brakes are, uh, the drums were kind of rusty from sitting for a long time. So as we're using them, they're wearing in and uh, everything's looking good though. So just, just another hour or so, this bus should be heading on the road. Sage is on there adjusting his brakes right now. We got lots going on. We got the battery charger on the batteries. We have the engine being heated up. My generator is running with my block warmer. Just adjusting the parking brake. Tyler is neating up the wires up there. I taped up the hole on the outside. Jacob is rainexing the windows and cleaning everything. Uh, maybe do the mirrors and the side windows too. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, Gary. Oh my God. Did he hit it? Let's see if he can do this again without taking out a mailbox. I heard the rear wheel slide. That was good. There you go. Chase car to follow him home with Tyler. Clear this way. Oh, jeez. <laughs>
corner. I don't know if the whole thing was on camera, but I was. He went around that corner. I had him do a couple lots just to check the brakes out and everything. Laps around that lot, and he came so close to the mailbox the first time. After I warned him about right-hand turns, and I make a comment to Jacob and Tyler, I'm like, "There is zero chance he's making it home without taking out something with the right side of that bus." And then the very next lap, he takes out that mailbox on the right hand. <laughs> oh, I about died laughing. It doesn't look like it damaged the bus at all. He just barely hit it. But he was clueless that he even came close to it. That's a nice corner over there.
we're going to rescue this bus. I think it's been off the road for 28 years, I believe is what I was told. I could be completely wrong. But it's been inside storage for most of that time. Just this past year, it got moved outside. So that's really good for the bus that hasn't been outside for 28 years. If that's how long it's been since it's been on the road. So typical things we'll have to go through and see what we got. But overall, it looks like a pretty nice bus. 4104 GM. About three miles away. Our GPS just totally messed us up. Sent us to a completely different address on a completely different street. Similar name street, but not even the same house number. Totally different name street. After I clearly entered in the right one. So I don't know what it was doing. Wow. This looks cool outside. I would not want to drive this road at night be my first time on this road though. Because it is dark, curvy, and skinny. We're in uh, Southern Ohio. We Wheelersburg, Ohio. I think that's the name of the town. Very country. I feel like there's probably some stills around here somewhere. Kelly said I could never have a yard like that. In one mile, turn left. Okay, so here we are looking at this 4104. And I pulled the valve cover on it and the rack is completely seized. So we'll figure out what's up with that. Uh, license plate, was there a license plate on it? No, there's not. But last time it was on the road was 1991. Is that what he said? Yep, 91. 1991 it was on the road and it allegedly was started in 2003. 2003 was the word I got. Um, so we'll see how it goes here, but it is a very pretty bus. It's nice and straight, very original. With a vintage uh, interior that you're more than welcome to. Yeah, my shoes well. might be a little, I'll stick my head in the door because my shoes are a little muddy on my last job. Matter of fact, I changed shoes because they were muddy and now I got these shoes muddy too. <laughs> Very stock driver's area. And carpeting on the ceiling. And I'll get a tour later. I don't wanna well hell I guess I ain't gonna mess up your carpet. <laughs> <laughs> mini fridge it's got the low counter so they kept it try to keep the windows yep i guess it worked out well because the lady was a little short too oh the diamond tuft they really got that look going on in here oh yeah <laughs> or the granite of its day <laughs> huh never seen a bedroom layout quite like this 
I like it. I was pleased to see that they kept the door. Yeah. First thing I looked for back here. Made it a closet, and yeah, I've, I've not seen that before. This is what I hadn't seen, the way they did the sink back here on its own. And then you can't see that because it's dark in here, but there's a toilet and a shower in there. <laughs> oh, we got to duck a little bit, but yeah, nice bus. Thanks. Mark's under there getting the injectors out for me. And it's raining pretty good, so we got a little tent set up done here. It's working. And uh, so far I got four injectors out, and I have freed them all up. They were all seized, every single one of them. One of them was super hard to get. Uh, two of them weren't too bad. The other one was kind of medium. But, uh, yeah, I wish it wasn't raining. I wish it wasn't cold, but it is what it we is. We right? show off our, our tent <laughs> I here. showed the tent, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Scott asked for a ladder. I thought he said lattice. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little, we built a little gutter. It's not really dripping inside here at all. I actually have a bigger tarp. Maybe I should go get it. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, my name is Scott. My wife and I, Kelly, travel around the country in this Silver Sides bus, 1947 Greyhound, working on other buses. Uh, it's raining out. And work on old Detroits too. So uh, two strokes, manual, uh, no electronic engines or anything. So everything's mechanical. And work outside in terrible conditions a lot of times, and but it's fun. Okay, we are done for the day today. Uh, it's about 4.30 right now. Um, it stopped raining, but it was still, it was misting a little bit, but it wasn't pouring. Uh, he went to go get batteries. We've got the rack all back together. Um, we get batteries and, and fuel tomorrow. We should be able to have it running first thing in the morning. So hopefully by, uh, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, we should have that thing running. We know that it's got an airbag out in it. We've got a couple of bags here. So we just got to figure out which airbag it is. Um, and then hopefully none of the other ones are bad too. So it's really low in the ground right now. It's going to be a pain. I, I need to climb under and jack it up. We were so hunched over today working all day in the back. But uh, I didn't want to lay on the ground because it was soaking wet back there. So anyways, uh, stay tuned tomorrow and you'll see more of this bus rescue.